What's going on, guys? It's Jazzy, and today I'm here with Harlem musician Didi Osama. Didi Osama, how you doing today? Doing good. How you, my heart? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. And also to all those people out there in the comments who are saying that I look like, well, that we both look like we could be siblings. We're not siblings. He's not my brother. I never thought of that. For real, you look like Zendaya, though. You look like Zendaya, and I look like Zendaya. So I've like, seen we some all look like, like we that all too. look like we could all look like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people say that I'm basically siblings with everybody, so. <laughs> so we both have a lot in common being from big families. And just to let y'all know, we both have five siblings. What's your favorite and most difficult part about having so many siblings growing up? It wasn't really difficult. It was just, it's better like that. Me personally, I find it difficult. I found it like it was better like that. Yeah, I totally get it. I mean, having so many siblings and coming from a big family, it's a huge blessing. Yeah, and but... Although sometimes they could be like very annoying, <laughs> it's still a blessing to have people yeah. there that you can count on and people that you can learn lessons from. Nah, yeah, I don't really, some saying. I thank God that I got the siblings I got. Some I just thank God. Exactly. You have to thank God. I be dead. And, uh, you know, I have strong support systems in my family, and I'm sure you do too, right? Yeah. Was there ever a moment in your rise as a musician where you felt discouraged due to things not moving as quick as you like? And in what ways were you able to motivate yourself to keep pushing forward? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of things, but me personally, I just just brush it off and just keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just got to brush it off. Well, I totally get it because there are some times where we don't really get the things that we want and everything has its own time. And success doesn't always happen overnight. You always have to work hard for everything that you want. And you have definitely put the work in, so keep on pushing forward. Sky's the limit. I appreciate you. That means a lot. That means a lot, for real. No problem. So, dealing with success and fame at such a young age can be a lot to handle for many. And it definitely takes a lot of maturity and sacrifice to be very successful, especially in the entertainment industry. So, how have you been able to balance your success and time in such a demanding industry? Like, do what I gotta do when I gotta do what I gotta do and just do what I want when I wanna do what I want. You know, like, you know, life is life, so you gotta just... You can't just always just work, 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 work. So I'm saying you got to live your life too. So just me personally, I just do what I want. It's important to work hard, but also have some time on the side to have fun and be yeah, able to exactly. relax too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I could definitely understand your opinion on that because as a, a kid, especially in the entertainment industry, it's very demanding and it takes a lot for you to become successful. You have to work really hard and you have to put your time and effort into it. Mm -hmm. And there are so many people that they only see the success, but they don't really see the failures. And the failures are what are the things that keep us motivated and keep us moving forward. And exactly. that's what makes us, it influences us to work even harder to accomplish watching, our dreams. You see, I'll be watching interviews. You be talking, like you just be preaching, like, real, like for real, like just talk. Real shit for real, like, for Thank real, you. For real. I appreciate that. You have experienced many difficult moments in your life that can weigh heavy on many. So, what ways have been helpful for you in handling those challenging moments? I just think about God, and I just, you know what I'm saying, just God continue pushing forward. And it's important to process your emotions after going through certain problems and after going through certain situations too, yeah. and. I know it can be extremely and incredibly challenging to keep on moving forward after dealing with certain situations, but as long as you're able to process your emotions and everyone processes their emotions differently. So that's very important to keep in mind. Yeah, you just, I just, like, only thing you just gotta know, like, you can't just stop. You gotta keep going, because if you stop, do what you did, what you did for nothing. That's what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying? Exactly, you have to keep on pushing forward. Yeah, like, you just got if you stop, you do what you did for nothing, and then just, me personally, like, me personally, I don't mind. I can't stop, like, but I keep going. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You are of Dominican descent, correct? Of course, yeah. All right, well, that's very cool. Saludos a todos los dominicanos. Ya tú sabes, estamos activo con Didi Osama. Sorry, I had to put that in there. <laughs> what are the things that you love about your Dominican heritage and your favorite parts about being Dominican? Good food, like, you know, the good food, like, ajaro, habichuela, really, like, totones, mangu, like, a lot of, like, 
Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I, me personally, I think, like, no disrespect to, like, all the other food from every other country, and, like, I feel like just Dominican got the best food, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just me, though. Okay, well, I respect your opinion on that one. I love yeah. Dominican food so much, especially the Dominican spot by my house. It's amazing. I love it. Especially tostones, or as we call it in Panama, patacones. It's fire. I love eating it, especially for breakfast. It's amazing. Yeah. So, we're too, but nah, <laughs> you really, nah, I felt you with that one for real. Yeah, I get it. And it's important to also embrace your culture and to embrace your roots too. Yeah. But it's also very important to understand other cultures because you'll be very surprised on how many similarities other cultures may have to your culture. Yeah. And I feel like if we really embrace embrace each other's cultures and each other's differences, then we can all be together and we can all have a great time. Yeah, I never try no other culture food. Like, I never try Haitian food. I never try Jamaican food. I never try none of those other food. Just because I personally think that just like Dominican food is better. Like, it's just like, I don't know. Like, it's just me. That just be, you understand? It's important to try new things too. Yeah, so. yeah, I'll be, I be looking at it and I'll just be like, I, I'm going to try it one day. I'm going to try it one day. Well, one day, one day. One day. As an upcoming talent for our generation, I value my importance of being innovative and leading the way. What are you most passionate about, and what manifestations do you have for the future? I just be think about it. Like, I just, once it's in my head, it's in my head. I saw myself doing what I did. Like, I saw when I was younger, I saw myself doing what I do now. So, like, if I just keep thinking about it, it's just going to keep some saying, you understand? I really believe in manifestation. I really believe in that, because I really, you know what I'm saying? For real. Well, well, you have to believe in yourself, and you have to manifest your future. And not only manifesting it, but you also have to work hard. You also have to put the work in. If you're not confident in yourself, and if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? So you got to make sure you also believe in yourself before uh, everything else. You said it best. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And nah, you really did. I understand your point, and I understand where you're coming from, because... I feel like our generation is definitely up next and we're going to um, we're going to make it big. We're going to help lead the way for yeah. the other generations that's going to come after us. So it, as long as we're able to do that. Right now. They think it's washed right now. Let them think it's washed right now. It's all right. Well, they think it's washed right I can now. definitely say we have a very bright future ahead of us. Yeah, for sure. Well, can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? Yeah, just... Stay in school. If you're younger, just stay in school. Finish school. Trust me. Just stay in school. And if you want to do what you want to do, just do what you want to do. Oh, he said that. She said, it's all right. Just do what you want to do. That's what I'm saying. Do what you want to do, my heart. It's all right. Well, but if you're in school, stay in school. Well, thank you for those words of motivation. And everyone, I'm here with Harlem's musician, Didi Osama. And until next time, jazzing out.